I know that somehow you know she was alive. Why did she make any noise? Maybe a noise. What, what kind of noise? Maybe a little noise, a girl, but I didn't know if it was something else. I, I didn't think she was breathing in. I didn't speak her too hard. Okay. I think that was a killer. Imagine a future brimming with promise, a life adorned with ribbons and the glow of the town's admiration. Then, in a heartbeat, imagine it all spiraling out of control. In today's video, we navigate the heart-rending saga of Brooke Schuyler Richardson, a tale shrouded in mystery and controversy. Watch till the end as we peel the layers of what is known as the Carlisle Buried Baby Case. Brooke Schuyler Richardson, a teenage cheerleader with a radiant smile and a future full of potential, lived a life that many in Carlisle, Ohio envied. Behind her bright eyes and spirited cheers, however, lay a world of pressure and expectation. Skyler, as her friends called her, was known for her dedication to cheerleading and her academic prowess, the very essence of the all-American girl. In the late months of her senior year in high school, Skyler confronted a reality that would frighten any teenager, an unexpected pregnancy. The news threatened to shatter her meticulously crafted world one where a baby did not align with the image of the Richardson family. It was reported that the baby's father was a young man named Trey Johnson. As her belly grew, so did her desperation. Despite the physical changes, her belly remained small, making it somewhat easier to mask beneath layers of baggy clothes and fabricated smiles. Skylar grappled with the impending reality of motherhood, isolated and afraid. Her mother believed if she ever had a child at this point in her life that it would ruin her life. She wouldn't be able to go to college. She wouldn't get a job. She would have to leave all of that behind and be a full-time mother. Then on that fateful night in May 2017, 48 hours after attending her senior prom, Skylar Richardson faced the unimaginable. She was about to give birth. As her parents slept, unaware of the events unfolding under their roof, Skylar gave birth to a baby girl in the quiet solitude of her bathroom. Later on, she claimed the infant showed no signs of life. She just kind of came out and I tried, I tried, I tried older and so she's breathing, she doesn't have a heartbeat. So now, what do you do when you realize that she's not going to make it? I have to bury her. I couldn't tell anybody. In the shadow of night, she ventured into the backyard and there she buried her daughter. She then proceeded to mark the grave with a sprinkle of pink flowers. A couple of months passed, and everything seemed to return to normal for Skylar, but soon enough, the weight of her secret proved too heavy to bear. During a medical appointment, she confessed every single thing to her doctor. This confession set off a chain of events that culminated in her arrest and ignited a media firestorm. A frantic search for the body was set in motion, and the backyard of the Richardson family home became the center of a grim investigation. Under the scrutiny of forensic teams, the earth yielded the remains of a newborn, buried in a shallow grave. Hence the moniker, Carlisle Buried Baby. I don't know what's gonna happen, that is not up to us, okay? I don't know, do you feel it? You keep saying that, do you feel like you should be your little baby? You should be right. The trial thrust Skylar into the national spotlight, painting her life in stark, contrasting hues. Prosecutors portrayed her as a heartless individual who was intent on preserving her image at any cost. Moreover, her digital footprint revealed internet searches like how to not have a baby and how to get rid of a baby. The courtroom became a battleground for competing narratives, each trying to make sense of the tragic events. However, one angle stood out during the trial. Apparently, an initial autopsy determined that the baby's bones were partially charred, indicating an attempt to cremate. In the end, much to the shock of many, Skyler was acquitted of the most severe charges of aggravated murder, child endangerment, and involuntary manslaughter, but found guilty of gross abuse of a corpse. She received only three years of probation, which was ended early by the court due to good behavior. In the aftermath, Brooke has sought to rebuild her life away from the limelight. The case of Brooke Richardson remains a complex tapestry of unanswered questions and profound lessons about the pressures of youth, the weight of secrets, and the imperative need for empathy and support in times of crisis. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for your daily true crime fix. See you in the next episode.